Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. We finally have official word on the mysterious Project Luminous and what Star Wars and Lucasfilm has planned for the next phase of Star Wars stories. According to StarWars.com, Star Wars The High Republic, which has previously been referred to as Project Luminous, will be set in an era when the Galactic Republic and the Jedi Order are at their zenith, about 200 years before the events of Star Wars The Phantom Menace. This period on the Star Wars timeline will not overlap any of the featured films or series currently planned for production, giving creators and partners a vast amount of room to tell Star Wars stories with new adventures and original characters. So it's finally official. The next phase of Star Wars stories will take place in the High Republic era, as many of us as thought. Since these new stories won't be overlapping any of Lucasfilm's planned films or series, Star Wars The High Republic will act as a springboard to prepare Star Wars fans for the next phase of Star Wars on-screen stories that will venture away from the Skywalker saga. Additionally, we will get to see a version of the Jedi we've yet to see, one where they're depicted as true guardians of peace and justice justice, somewhat like the Knights of the Round Table. According to Lucasfilm Publishing creative director Michael Ziglane, this is a hopeful, optimistic time when the Jedi and the Galactic Republic are at their height. But of course, into this glorious new era, something wicked this way comes. Some sort of calamity is going to happen to the Republic during this time period, but we don't yet know what that exact calamity that the Jedi and the Republic will face, so your guess is as good as mine, but I can't freaking wait. I don't think we'd get another Yuzong Vong type of a story, but who knows. The villains of this era will be the Nil which, by the way, I love that name, and they will be sort of like Space Vikings, and I'm curious to see how or if they will have any relation to the Sith. I'm still unsure if or how the Sith will have a presence in the High Republic era, as the Sith were lurking in the shadows at this time, unbeknownst to the galaxy at large and the Jedi Order. So it'll be interesting to see if maybe the Sith are the puppeteers that pull on the Nil's strings. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Star Wars The High Republic's first installment will be the book Star Wars Light of the Jedi The High Republic from author Charles Soule. And guys, look at the artwork from the cover of this book. A goddamn Wookiee Jedi. And as my man Huang said in The Clone Wars, A Wookiee. Rare you are to the Jedi. Proud your people must be. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. On Random House Books website last night, all that was provided for a description for the book was, The Force is what gives a Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things until. And I was so intrigued by that description. On their website today, however, the description of the book reads, 200 years before the events of Star Wars The Phantom Menace, in the era of the glorious High Republic, the noble and wise Jedi Knights must face a frightening threat to themselves, the galaxy, and the Force itself. Light of the Jedi will be released on August 25th, which is two days prior to the start of Star Wars Celebration. On September 8th, we'll get our next book, A Test of Courage, by Justina Ireland, which is a story involving a Jedi Padawan named Vernestra Rowe, who teams up with the son of an ambassador during that galaxy-wide disaster. After that, on October 13th, we'll get the Claudia Gray novel Into the Dark, which sees Padawan Wreath Silas sent to the undeveloped frontier, my guess would be the Outer Rim, when the ship he's traveling on is knocked out of hyperspace in the same galactic-wide disaster, and Wreath and other Jedi find refuge on what appears to be an abandoned space station where strange things start to happen. As I've mentioned before, I love the idea of Lucasfilm creating stories that take place hundreds of years prior to the events of the Skywalker saga, and I'm intrigued to see what Charles Soule and company have in store for the Star Wars canon. Guys, just plug it into my veins. Ah, just hook it to my veins! I'm so excited about Star Wars The High Republic, and I can't wait to start delving into these stories. I just want to know about all the new Star Wars stories we'll be getting leading up to 2022. I honestly can't wait to find out more about Star Wars The High Republic and where Lucasfilm plans to take Star Wars from here. I'll make sure to keep you guys posted as more news is dropped, but needless to say, I am pretty excited, my friends. 
But what do you guys think? Are you excited that Project Luminous, or Star Wars The High Republic as it will now be known as, will be officially exploring the High Republic era? And what about the stories that have been announced? Which are you most excited for? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow Dan's on Fandoms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.